Welcome back to Sedentary Education Channel. Please, today we are going to look at solution development for grade 11. What are some of the key components, the subtopics that we need to know regarding solution development? Now, the solution development comes in different forms, specifically Microsoft Word, Spreadsheet Database, and HTML. Here, you are tested about um, the questions that you have, questions on um, the practical component, what you have done regarding paper one. That involves Microsoft Word features, spreadsheet features, calculations, um, HTML, and then database. Now, when you start from Microsoft Word, um, regarding that one, we know where it is used to create document like letters and others. So they can ask you a question, how to save and then save as. Remember saving is when you have the existing file and you have made changes. Save as when you are saving um, under a new name or in a different location. So you must know how to, or the difference between the save and then also save as they can ask you like that. And then again, printing options like odd and even printing quality, number of pages, they can ask you questions on that. Export options and import, the properties like metadata, file info, they can ask you questions on that. And then um, as for the skills, I can say that maybe they can ask you questions about the shortcuts, the keyboard shortcuts. You have to know them. Show or hide feature also. They can ask you about show or hide feature like this one to be able to see all the paragraph called the paragraph mark. Um, they can ask you question also, which review hidden formatting marks. And then, <clears throat> so this is the show or hide. So take note of that. They can ask you to um, give the function of this, the review hidden formatting mark also then the font and then different font styles and bullets they can give you something to also do like i said earlier the shortcuts you have to know them review like comments and others they can ask you question also um the margins the layout the section break watch out for those type of questions they can ask you a question on that right now References regarding Microsoft Word, references question, and then mail merge questions. Then when it comes to spreadsheet, that's the spreadsheet features, like the calculations, uh, free spin, conditional formatting, uh, data validation, different data types. You can be given a question like that, but more especially basic calculations and functions. So the functions you must know as the 11 um, learners, they can ask you question there, like count if. If statement, they can give you a question regarding if statement, then you have to also maybe make changes or um, give the output. And then also the absolute references, define name, the name range, or using the dollar sign. Um, Error indicators, hashtag now many invalid numeric values. If you have too many hashtag, column is too narrow. Hashtag name, syntax error. It could be that maybe the function name is wrong. Hashtag division zero, maybe you are dividing by zero. Hashtag ref, invalid references. You are referring to a cell that is maybe is the same cell you are referring to. Hashtag value wrong function or references, they can give you a question also on that. Then graphs to also interpret to improve the readability. They can ask you questions about graphs. Now regarding database, different object, the four objects, they can ask you questions on each object or any of the objects and different data type, like hyperlink, then the queries, and then also report. 
Then the data validation, like the validation rule. Like the validation rule, validation text. Required input mask. You can be given a question to also answer regarding that one. So basically, that is all about database. And then the HTML, they can give you a question whereby you have to give the output or make corrections. Maybe a closed tag was not applied. Then they will ask you what is wrong with that particular tag when it doesn't show images. Maybe IMG SRC, then they put it SCR or maybe the color, the U-C-O-L-O-U-R instead of American English, the list, and then the good website design. So basically, these are the aspects you need to know regarding HTML, right? So these type of questions that you have to take note um, as a grade 11 learner, right? So you can go through all these questions also. There are so many questions available that you can go through them. And then I believe they are going to be a very good um, question for you regarding your upcoming examination. Thank you for your precious time.